Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing Killing Floor 2 from Tripware Interactive. Now before I get into the review, I'm um, just let you know that I'm actually doing a giveaway as well for Killing Floor 2 on my Twitter account. And to enter, I'm actually going to leave a link in the description below. So all you have to do is click on it and then enter. So in the aim of Killing Floor 2, it's for you and your team to try and kill as many number of Zeds in each wave until you reach the end and fight a powerful boss. Now after each wave, you're giving a brief retreat in order to receive any cash or ammo boxes that you see lying around the map and then head back to these trader pods. Teamwork is even more vital to survive as you can coordinate the best choke points in each map while you blast away the Zeds and you can even assist one another with healing and sharing all those important ammo shortages. And if you're short on cash for that important shotgun or assault rifle that you want to buy at the trader post, you can actually throw free cash to one another so you can actually buy the weapons that you want if you're short. The type of Zeds increase after each wave. At first it starts off with a zombie like Z which can use their numbers to overpower you and it goes from alien like spiders that run towards you to the sirens who can actually use their shriek ability which actually stuns you and there's even these big acid bloating spitting blobs that actually explode with acids if you shoot them too much. Now some Zs have a better protection against certain weapons that you use than others and some of them are actually stronger and faster which all adds up to the challenge of each wave until you head towards the boss. In Killing Floor 2 there are three ways to play. You can opt to play alone, you can do a training section which is like a tutorial on how to play the game and then there's the online modes. Now when it comes to the online modes you can work together against the hordes of Zeds or you can mix it up for a person versus person where you can get to play both human and Zeds. And there's plenty of variety and there's spoil for choice when it comes to choosing maps, purchasing the weapons. Now once you get to the grips with the whole game and how it plays you can get a bit more understanding of the class system. You get to choose from several classes before a match starts and this determines what your player's expertise is. Now each class also has passive abilities and these enhance your Z killing skills and offers extra boost towards your group. Now field medics are what it means to kind of keep the group alive and yourself for as long as possible for throwing health packs down as well. Commandos are another class and these have crack shots and they can even show the health of the enemies above their heads. And thankfully you're not just restricted to using whatever weapons your class has you can choose whatever weapon you want in the game but you will only earn xp for those class based weapons you also get to unlock perks over time and these perks offer extra boosts like health reloading and even bonuses with your weapons the graphics in killing floor 2 show off some high caliber explosions as well as the Z body parts that fly everywhere after you kill them now every map you visit is beautifully painted and rendered and well flashed out there's a sunny tropical island map that shows a backdrop of a plane crash with its cargo spilled across the map to an active volcano that runs down the middle of the map as a hazard. You also get a snowy outpost map which starts off with bunkers and hills of snow and it really shows off the amount of blood that gets strange as you're fighting wave against wave of your kidney streets. The sound is also superb, you've got a good line of heavy metal tracks and it fits the game's tone overall. The guns fire adequately and really makes you feel the crunch with every shot. You get that special squishing sound when you get a nice headshot right at the end of each wave as well. Now, I did come across one or two issues where the game slows down after a critical shot like headshots and the game goes into like a kind of black and white slow down mode and it feels like forever before you get back in the action especially if you're caught reloading during this feature. I know, I know it is a feature but it was a bit of a pain in the arse when it happens because you're left reloading. And also the character models when you're running beside your team you actually look like they're stuck in the mode. Now I know it's not really a big issue but still can be off putting at times. Now I know these two at least don't really ruin the overall game gameplay but I just thought I'd mention it. Now Killing Floor 2 is a lot of fun especially when you're playing with friends but it actually doesn't ruin it if you're playing with randoms as well like most games. And once you get a good team with you defeating the horde of Zeds as they come towards it is a lot of fun. Now the game mechanics are really easy to pick up and there's a lot of variety to choose from between the classes and the maps. Now, like I said, with the two issues that I've mentioned, it doesn't actually ruin the overall fun factor of the game, and it's well worth adding to your library. Now, I give Killing Floor 2 an 8.5 out of 10. Now, hopefully, you like the review, and if you do, I'd really appreciate if you check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And like I said at the start of the video, if you want to check out the giveaway that I'm doing, I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.